Hey everybody, today we're doing a breakfast brunch for Otto. Otto has been in Spain for eight weeks. He's 10 years old and he was on the exchange program and he came home last night um, tired because of all the travel. But we are having a celebration that he's home. My, uh, the kids are all, all my kids are cooking for him and a family that cooks together has fun together and we're excited that he's back. We've got pancakes going, we're gonna have omelets, I mean, I've got everything ready. Matthew's making the omelets, Michael's making the pancakes, he's making the bacon which we're gonna go out there in just a minute. He's already started it on the Blackstone, we're cooking it on the Blackstone. I've got a hash brown casserole, it's the, um, it's the Cracker Barrel hash browns that I've got in the oven and I've got a ham in the oven. I'm going to cut some of it and dice it for the omelets and then slice the rest of it. We have a smorgasbord of food and our guest of honor will be here soon and it's going to be so much fun and we wanted y'all to be a part of it. Get his done because Matthew's on the Blackstone next. So they're working in waves. He's got sausage here to cook, two different kinds of sausage. So I guess it's a good thing Matthew's not here yet. But it's getting done. Getting the black blueberries ready for the pancakes, but I made me a cheap a peach bellini and I threw in some blueberries just because I like them. I always have to do something different. We got sausage, pink sausage. Patty sausage. There's Otto. Man, man of the hour. I've got ham that, ham that I've cooked in the oven. I've rubbed um, spicy mustard and some cloves and some brown sugar on the top of it and I've just heated it up. And now I'm, sli I'm slicing it. If we have so many choices of meat, that's probably all I'm gonna slice. But I've chopped some up for the omelets up here too, to put in the omelets. I'm making a gravy now. And, and Otto, Matthew is starting the omelets and it's purple. No, one at a time. He's got all kinds of stuff no, there. Time, anyway, he's working on this. <laughs> Michael, you ever cooked a pancake before? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you're gonna look and watch these, watch these air bubbles come up, and you're gonna watch for the browning on the edge. And you'll take the edge of your um, spatula, as they start cooking, and you start starting to see a little bit of that brown, you'll start picking up the edge to see, see if it releases and see what it looks like underneath. All right. And then you eat it. So if you can get underneath it, just take a little look. I've done this How does that time. look? Looks like it needs a little bit more. Okay, give it a sec. And then you eat it. You can you start to see those. Oh, we need chocolate chips. I'm on. Oh, cool. You on chocolate chip duty? Yeah! How does that look on the bottom? Dark. It's not that bad. Yeah. That actually looks normal. Nope. Yeah. Da. Look, you can't see it? Yeah, I can see it. It's I don't like that burnt. <laughs> looks normal to me. Put our what we want on our omelet and take it out to him. I might have too much stuff. But. That's gonna be what I'm gonna have to call But we have everything, they're still working on the pancakes, but biscuits and gravy, ham, bacon, sausages. This is still all the stuff for the omelets. The hash browns are over here. One thing we might need is salt. Or no, I gave him the other one. Anyways, that's what we have. Yeah. And here, that's the thing in Spain, that's your butt. Yeah, no, because yeah, I've always heard. No, I've always heard it's a good one. <laughs> so the Spanish omelet? Yeah. Spain omelet? Oh, yeah. Can I do the next omelet? Yeah. Huh? Second marriage. Matthew, can I do the next omelet? Yeah. Okay, so I'm starting to feel my plate. Uh, Otto helped Matthew make my omelet, so, and he learned how to make it, but it's going to be good. I've got my meat on, I'm getting everything on. Everybody's up to eat. Well, we've been eating in waves, and they're eating over here, and we're all going to eat. Got lots of food we left over too. So the hash browns are the crack, like the Cracker Barrel ones that everybody loves. And basically, all it is is a big bag of, of hash browns. Um, it was a 26 ounce bag. I added a can of cream and mushroom soup, about a cup, cup and a half of cheese. I just poured some in, um, and um, a cup of butter, and that was oh, and, and a small onion chopped up. And sauteed. I actually added a little bell pepper in here too, but and then you cook it till it till it's crispy on top. And I did it at 350, and then moved it up to 400 towards the end. But that's what this is. 
So the party's over. They've all gone home. And I'm cleaning up. We've still got a mess to clean up. But it was fun. It's fun to welcome him home. They've had a good time. They've got more family to visit. Off to other things. But it was fun that they're... His uncles cooked breakfast for him, and it was a fun day. Thank y'all for watching and enjoying time with our family like we do. See you next time. Bye.